Hi, this is Mark Creekmore from NAMI, Washtenaw County. In uh, January and February of 2020, uh, NAMI Washtenaw and other collaborators uh, in this process uh, developed a set of questions that we sent to office holders for in anticipation of the November 2020 election. Uh, we had uh, nine uh, key collaborators. NAMI Washtenaw County was one, uh, well, Washtenaw Health Initiative, Washtenaw Housing Alliance, Avalon Housing, the Women's Center, the Ann Arbor Center for Independent Living, Catholic Social Services, the Committee for Mental Health and Public Safety, and Fresh Start Clubhouse. Um, the video, this video will hopefully jumpstart a discussion about our proposal for a consortium to educate, it off, to educate office holders about justice and health mental health services. Um, I'll be contacting you, and uh, if you uh, uh, will look at the uh, table summary, I'm just uh, going to uh, read the summarize, uh, summary of that. The 2020 candidate survey was our first foray into electoral politics for justice and health services. Office holders are one key to long-term change, uh, and change is sometimes planned like the mental health, uh, the housing and millage, uh, which was successful in November. And sometimes like COVID, it happens unexpectedly. Long-term advocacy should support both planned and unexpected emergent opportunities. Our long-term advocacy depends on us educating office holders who control the conditions, the rules and the funds for justice and health services in our community. We surveyed candidates and published their responses and we analyzed them. Our reviewers were impressed by the candidate survey and its future potential. As a result, we propose a pilot consortium consisting of stakeholders, which will educate office holders and the communities which elect them. Here are a few key ways that we see the consortium working. The stakeholder consortium will decide its educational priorities. It will supplement, not supplant, existing educational efforts. The consortium's program will be broad and foundational to promote health and justice and to improve the decisions about policies which cross service sectors. Consortium's education program will be balanced, interactive, and responsive to the local needs of the communities at large. The consortium's education program will be sustained and fundable. So these are the few of the aspects, the we, way we see the consortium working. Obviously, there's a lot that needs to be developed, and we look forward to talking with you and other uh, stakeholders in this process. Uh, we can uh, we meet uh, regularly at every Tuesday at 5:30 uh, on Zoom, and I'll send you the link to that. But I'll also be talking to you and emailing uh, further information as we go ahead. We'd like to get this started in January uh, of 2021, so please give it your attention and give us some feedback about what you think. Thanks very much. Bye bye.